guys, any new subscribers. So if you're back from part one, you're breathtaking and I love you just like the Scorpions. Love whoever they were singing. This amazing song too. Exactly. So, <laughs> holy shit. I can't believe I stumbled upon the best song I've listened to in my entire life all by myself. It's not a subscriber suggestion. It's not even a Patreon suggestion, to be honest. I, coincidentally, chose this and uh, I'm, I'm in love. And guys, listen. You listen, listen, Linda. Listen. If you break a girl's heart and you want to get her back, sing her this song. Sing her this freaking song. And I guarantee she's gonna take you back because if somebody sang me this song, woo! Yes! That's what I'm saying, Tayong! Hell yeah, meow! See? My cat agrees as well. Or this could totally be Tayong singing this song, this amazing song, to his kind of tuna. His kind of tuna, the unrequited love. Stop biting me. Stop biting me. What? No, no, no. No, back in, back in. No, 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 don't do this to mom. No! Okay. I'm gonna be an amazing vet. Anywho, while my cat goes crazy playing with a piece of paper, we're gonna discuss this masterpiece of a song that I, I can't, I, I, I honestly can't get over this. Like, I, I listened to it twice after my first reaction and I've literally teared up every time I listened to it. It just has this factor that not only does it pierce my heart, but it beats the living crap out of it. If this exact song was sung by anyone else, I doubt it would be this mind-blowing because his vocals his vocals, like what the f Do you get what's happening? I'm just like in so much shock that I'm literally discovering the scorpions, these vocals, these heavenly, mesmerizing vocals today. Today, I I'm, tw I'm 26. Woman, what is wrong with you? People might think I'm exaggerating right now, but I'm so not. I kind of feel inclined to say that these are the best vocals I've ever listened to in my entire reaction journey, which is about two years now. Yeah, no wonder they're legendary. I'm trying to figure out the correct terminology, like the perfect description of his amazing voice, but I can't. I, I I honestly can't find the words for the first time ever. His vocals are just beyond anything I've ever listened to. And the riffs? Don't get me started with the riffs if that's <laughs> what they are really. It's the transitions between each verse. They are remarkably bittersweet. And y'all know how I'm all about the bittersweetness. It's like I listen to one riff, it's, I, I almost cry. Like. I, I contain myself and then the next one comes and it like punches me right in the heart again makes me want to cry some more like compose yourself compose and then another one comes and it's like it's a never-ending cycle of three minutes and 50 seconds which kind of contradicts the term never-ending but you know what I mean they just flood you with overwhelming sadness in such a good way I feel sad but I'm happy about it does that make me sadistic I don't know, maybe the guitar solos. They just did not last long enough. Yes, I said it. I can't believe I said this, but hey, it's the month of miracles indeed. I needed the song to last a minimum of triple its time, but it, it just went by so fast. I was literally saying this today during my training at the vet clinic because I honestly don't sense how time passes by so fast when I'm there. It's literally the same thing. Like even though I wanted to cry my eyes out, but I was so happy about it. Explain that. And it reached its climax. Both the song and my feelings at the chorus. That goddamn chorus. It just felt like a defibrillator. Th that's the closest thing that I can describe this chorus to. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, a defibrillator is an electronic device that applies an electric shock to restore the rhythm of a fibrillating heart. And that's what the chorus did to my heart. Let me demonstrate. Our 
wrong love. <laughs> okay, you get the point. Yeah, it, it's just so memorable. It hits you to your core and, and it fucking brings you alive. Let's delve into the lyrics. Oh, beautiful lyrics. The lyrics are pretty straightforward. There's no like layering and metaphors and reading between the lines. But even though, as simple as they are, they're so powerful. And trust me, if you want to win a girl back, you don't want to insinuate it or imply it. You gotta be clear about it. And it doesn't get clearer than this. Time, it needs time to win back your love again. The singer is obviously singing about a love that he let slip away. And he's singing the song to let her know that he still loves her. He didn't let go and he wants to win her back. Fight, babe, I'll fight to win back your love again. He's not gonna surrender this time. Nuh uh not like last time. He's not losing her again and he's gonna do whatever it takes to make this work because if we go again all the way from the start, I would try to change the things that killed our love. He reflected on what went wrong and he wants to fix it and start all over again. But Pride has built a wall so strong that I can get through. Is there really no chance to start once again? He's doubting that she'll give him a chance and bitch give him a chance! No! Uh-uh, girl. Like, he's trying. Oh. You know what? Forget about her. Forget about her. Give me a chance. <laughs> Just say. I'm available. Babe, try to trust in my love again. I will be there. Love, our love just shouldn't be thrown away. I will be there. Oh, man. I wish somebody could love me this way. One day. One day, I guess. <laughs> As for the music video, there wasn't really a storyline for it. It was just some sort of a live performance. And thank God there was no music video to distract me. But who am I kidding? This melody, this song, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Even if they're putting a cat in a... Mu no, mm, no, that, that, that would distract me. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but my Bible teacher was kind of evil. He relished on my pain and suffering, so he showed me a video of a cat being microwaved in chapel. <laughs> yeah, and I went completely berserk. I mean, I started yelling and cussing at him in front of the entire school. But yeah, that, that, was, that was a joke. That was like a prank. I didn't see it too much like that. I, I, I just felt it was more of a trauma. Point is, 99% nothing could ever distract me from this beautiful song. So this is it for my reaction video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it because I genuinely did. So please, if you have any other suggestions for the Scorpions, please mention them in the comments down below. I'd love to check them out. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel, please subscribe. And if you'd like to support me on Patreon, make sure to hit that Patreon link. See you next time. Bye! Never! Two!